Hi, my name is Valent Valentine, and I'm making 2008 style video blogs to just sort of uh, talk about stuff like we used to in 2008. Uh, I mostly just talk about my movie God's Country coming to theaters this year. <laughs> um, but um, as time goes on, we talk about other things. Um, I want to talk about uh, The People's Joker. I finally saw it. Uh, I've been very excited about this movie for a long time for a lot of reasons. I wanted to see it at Outfest last year, but um, I had a medical thing at the time. No big deal. I was really excited to see it, though. I saw it um, a couple nights ago. Feels like a long time, but it's only been like four days. I saw it Saturday night. I saw it with the Tim Heidecker, Vera Drew, uh, Q&A after. And uh, it was a phenomenal, it was a sold out show. It was like all queer and trans people, like mostly, like heavily my people. People came dressed up, people were cheering, people were laughing. Uh, they've been, I've been saying that she's probably the first great filmmaker. Like even before I saw her film, which was great, just I ha I've had friends who, um, I have one friend who said it changed her life. Uh, she saw it a couple of years ago. I've had other friends. Like, I've been hearing from lots of people that, like, this is the one. And, like, then you see it and it lives up. It was fantastic. Um, I, I kind of, you know, to be honest, I kind of wanted to be the first great trans film worker of my generation, but I'm happy to be in the second. Um, yeah, it was really cool, too. Um, after the one, I got recognized by, from Twitter a bunch of times, which always feels kind of good. I'm not so famous that that doesn't, like, kind of, like, tickle my fancy. So I'd be like, oh, I've been sending you the PMs. I'm like, I know who you are. What's up? Hi. Um, yeah, that was that was a treat. And then after the movie, um, I met Vera Drew, the filmmaker, uh, and she like recognized me, and she said I was pretty, and she said she was looking forward to my movie. And after seeing like a movie star on the screen, kind of like make a movie that resonated on a personal level with me, seeing someone meeting her and having to be really nice to me and say I was pretty, um, uh, was felt really good. Felt really good. I, I hope one day uh, we meet again. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. <laughs> it was cool. It was a good movie. Um, I thought it was really interesting, too, because honestly, I've spent the last three or four years of my life writing a very personal, very specific movie. Um, and then you see another movie, and you're like, oh, I thought I was the only person who made, like, a specifically trans, dealing with early transition trauma, dating a trans mask, um, like, comedy hating, found footage burnout, like, it was, there were so many things that I'm like, oh, I'm a type, I guess. thought... <laughs> There were a couple times I'm like, how did, um, like, is that just a thing trans filmmakers do like this? Like, what is, I, it was one of those, I, I hope one day when she sees my movie we can talk about it and be like, do we have a lot, you know, we have a lot of mutual acquaintances, we don't have any mutual friends. I, <laughs> oh. a lot of mutual acquaintances though. She really struck me, she was a really cool lady, she reminded me you're a good person. Uh, yeah, other than that, like, um, the movie itself was phenomenal. Like, I'm not a big uh, superhero fan or coming-of-age uh, fan, to, to be honest, if somebody said it's a superhero coming-of-age. I'm not sure. I like these glasses, but it's kind of... I think they're more of, like, an intro phenomenon. Anyway, that's all I have to really say about it. it was, it's the first great trans movie. I hope I'm the second. Um, yeah. See the people's joker. Fun at the movies. Five bags of popcorn. It really struck me. There's very few movies that seem like they're made specifically for me. Um, there were a couple scenes, too, I'm like, same life. <laughs> same life. I mean, maybe that's what a good movie does. Hopefully people see my movie and be like, I thought I was the only fucking weirdo.